Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. Sorry for the voice. I'm sick and I've been sick the last couple days. That's why I didn't even bother doing pop talk. Talk. For the most part, I... I mean, not for the most part. I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was a good film. Decent enough. The only thing I negative I'd give it would be the soundtrack they gave it, but I don't, I'm not a fan of hip-hop and all that kind of stuff and rap, so people who would like it would, but it's not overly in there. It's a good story. Compelling. It's kind of, it kind of mixed the uh, comic story of Spider-Verse and the uh, original 90s story of Spider-Verse which with Madame M pulling, a, it was like five Spider-Men, a Tony Stock knockoff one, one who, would, one who inspired Superior Spider-Man. Because it was Spider-Man with, uh, with uh, Octavius' legs. Uh, human Spider-Man was supposed to be the actor playing the cartoon character. And one who got stuck with the uh, multiple arms. And then the regular cartoon guy. The characters were fun. Yeah. The uh, Penny Parker, the anime one, reminded me why I don't really like anime very much. The... Uh, over the top reaction thing as they did with her. <coughs> with her uh, always eating and everything. Could be a part of the character, like she has to eat because of fast metabolism or something, but I think her robot gives her her powers or something. The uh, score was nice. Uh, Voice acting was all great. No, no one did a bad job to me, in my opinion. I like the little funny references they did to the uh, Raimi Spider-Man movies, and you can kind of see they were going to like that. Yeah, they were trying. They were thinking about casting uh, Tobey Maguire as the Spider-Man, but then I can see why they wouldn't want that because. Well, if you know Miles' story, spoiler alert, his Spider-Man dies. That's why he gets to become it. It's, he's in, Miles lives in the ultimate universe of Marvel and all that kind of stuff. Although I think they brought him over now to the regular one. It's a shame the film isn't performing as well as it should, as people, as it should be and all that kind of stuff because I enjoyed it. I think it'll probably do much better when it hits, uh, TV and all that kind of stuff for streaming and that's because I think it probably just has the stigma of being a cartoon. It was a hell of a lot better than a lot of the most recent MCU films to me. I think I'm actually making it the second film of number two film of the year behind The Incredibles 2. Ugh. <coughs> <sighs> <sighs> You definitely got to see that Miles was in the uh, ultimate verse of this thing because when uh, they go to Aunt May's house, sorry, spoiler alert, she's a quote-unquote badass, kicks the door open, does all the smart, does all the stuff, and the real one or the original Spider-Man that was created back and whenever. No one helped him. He was by himself. And he hid stuff from his Aunt May and all that. The Oh, and he also had the Ultimate's enemies. Like a psycho version of Green Goblin, which if you see the pop things, you would know that one. Already in all his enemies and that. I'd probably enjoy seeing the story continue, or at least Miles one, because everybody else has gone back to their own thing. I don't think I'd really want the uh, sequel that they announced with Penny and uh, Gwen, just because, like I said, I didn't really like Penny very much. Because of her anime-ish thing. Uh, 
Other than that, as I said, I give it like an A. I give it an A minus. I only got knockoffs because of the rap music. Just because that stuff distracts. That stuff pulls you out because you're thinking, it, huh? Even though it, it fits in the story because of the, uh, you know, modern Brook, modern day uh, New York. He kept the Miles lives in Brooklyn and all that. Funny thing is, with this film going into it, I was thinking it was going to be like Lego Batman. Everybody was raving how great this film was. Like, they raved how great Lego Batman was. And I really... Give me a moment. As I was saying before I was interrupted, the, everybody's still raving how great Lego Batman was, and I go see it and it didn't look the hype. This film does. In my opinion, I thought... I got, as I said, as I've been saying, I'm kind of rambling here because... I thought I'd be saying more, and then you go to record and you don't. But yeah, the t as I said, the team should be a pr very proud of themselves, even if the whole thing of Sony goes through and they get canned. I think Disney would probably take aspects of it and bring it on over with their stuff that they're doing. Because, yeah, Apple, if Apple does buy Sony, then the rights would revert back to Marvel. Part of their agreement to deal thing. That'd be the one thing that makes Sony have to lose it. <clears throat> have a good one. Got a train of thought back. I did... Really enjoy the comic booky feel of it with the uh, when they introduce the different spider people of the uh, and it shows like the comic panels when the people are skipping around from universe to universe to atoms and all that or when they introduce themselves the comic books thrown down and it shows their origin thing or their origin stories I should say that's things. I love the uh, washed-up loser Spider-Man with his, uh, yeah, you get used to it, or you call it a goo, I call these things a goober, they all have different, they all have those fancy science-y names, I call them just goobers. And, or, first, the bad guy's going over this grand evil scheme, blah, 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 you get used to it after a while, they all say the same thing, and he guesses what people are going to say, so that was funny to me. That was a train of thought I lost that I regained when I was thinking while I sat here with the video rendering. Have a good one.